Boccherini, I think, was a real original in his time. And uh, the fact that he had a special gift for the instrument at a time when it was relatively neglected as a solo instrument, uh, I think goes a long way toward explaining why he was able to push technique the way he did. Um, he also is a very prolific composer. And being a prolific composer, he wrote prolifically for himself. So he wrote uh, a lot of music, and most of it was written to showcase his own talents. And since his talents, his own talents were uh, extravagant, um, I think he was able to pull other cellists along. I've seen this happen many times just in my own development as a student cellist. I would tackle a piece that was a little bit beyond my capabilities at the time. And once I was done and had worked it out, I was a better player for it. And I think as a group, um, cellists were probably better for having had Boccherini walk the face of the earth for a few years. He came along at a time when the cello was uh, mostly used as a baseline instrument. And here was someone who was impatient with that. He had a, a tremendously advanced um, ability to play the instrument, and he wanted it to be a solo instrument. And the music he wrote uh, reflected that. He re it reflected his uh, impatience with its limitations, but it also incorporates his understanding of what it does best. And when I play his music, uh, I feel a special tactile pleasure in uh, being a sort of communicant across the centuries of, of what he understood the cello to be capable of, both um, in a conventional sense and in a more advanced sense, in the sense in which he was pushing it to create new, more advanced boundaries.